Hello and welcome to a new vlog. Um, I thought I'd do another because I kind of had fun doing the other ones um, and it's just something to do in the day as well and kind of help structure myself. Obviously I've just got out of the shower. Um, it's Monday. I did some Pilates this morning as well um, which has been making me feel really good. I'm just doing online class with my old studio that I normally do a reformer at which is Tempo um, and it's a beautiful day again. It keeps being the most beautiful, beautiful sunny days which is so fun because I don't have a garden, but I have got this kind of little patch of sunlight, which I like to line with my duvet. <laughs> I am obsessed with all things um, nice in at the moment, namely this wonderful um, face cream from Dr. Dennis Gross, Stress Repair Face Cream. We'll link obviously any bits and bobs I mentioned below. They've also got this serum, but to be honest, I've been mainly on the cream um and also been loving this new la roche um Tellerian ultra um serum which is amazing which is really good for calming the skin as well and this is their whole very sensitive skin range um so that is a great one for um calming skin which i love because my skin's always a bit upset and then other calming bits i've been using too is a sicker repair um the dr jart serum the classic and then the new um sturm night serum which is very calming too so i'm just kind of alongside my retinol, which I'm using about once a week at the moment. I'm just using super, super calming things. A um, bit of BHA, um, just to exfoliate to, um, not on the same nights as retinol though, of course, uh, but niacinamide is a perfect um, pairing for retinol. So I have been um, enjoying that. So just making some coffee on my percolator. This is a banana ha ha um, and chocolate cake that I made yesterday, which I think looks really good. I think the reason we're all making banana cake is because everyone's buying bananas and then they're going off. So you need to use them. I love this bowl. Um, right, coffee, coffee mug. Let's go with this guy today. Um, I had a smoothie earlier. I'm trying out the new Glow Bar. This is their um, cacao ginger um, protein shake thingy. Um, it is quite like, does definitely very much taste of that. So the kind of fruit and stuff that I put in my smoothie maybe tasted a bit different, but I kind of kind of liked it. This is my skincare shelf, so I have like a couple masks and bit um, that I like to keep cold, like eye masks, um, like these patchology ones, and like cooling gel ones as well for my skin's a bit red. Just morning, morning, I feel a bit puffy, so just using my roller, which I keep in there, which is so amazingly cold when you get out of the fridge. Just really feel like this helps reduce my puffiness, which I do get a bit puffy in the morning on my cheeks. Um, and if my skin is kind of irritated or inflamed at all, cooling roller obviously um, helps with that. Okay, coffee time. Beautiful. How good are these blooms? Vichy kindly sent with a new launch. They're so, so pretty. Um, in the morning, I like to kind of sit with my coffee um, and write in my journal. Um, currently, we're just going through that one again to because it has this really, it's all about hormones. I spoke about it on Instagram a lot. But it has this really great part where it tells you like what foods to kind of favor at the different times of the month which i find really handy when i'm going to do a big shop like i am at the moment um and then i've just got like my work diary too which is kind of weird because it used to normally fill with like meetings and stuff but now it's not Ooh, don't look at my bill um but it's just like things that i want to film i'm doing I should start a new week um and things that i want to shoot and i have like things i want to do every day um, there um, and I love this one it's the me girls one I've used these ones for ages so just a really nice layout and like a good amount of space and stuff um, and it's a bloody beautiful day um, more flowers sunny outside um, been definitely loving recently having um, realizing how much like the art on my walls is really important to me <laughs> This is my Sasha Podogaska one. I love this. She's the most amazing artist. She does all these great nudes um, and then just beautiful brush strokes that you can see. 
Um, this is my Palm Springs print um, that I absolutely love having here because it reminds me of a wonderful trip and like good memories. And then I've got less kind of framed art, but like this LRNCE Lawrence vase, which I love. And just like all these bits, the reason I love having all these trinkets are like such nice memories, like that fan was from Olive's wedding. Um, like all these little bits, they just remind me of like good times. Um, it's like family photos I've got there, um, like good books, um, some more kind of just bits, um, these great candles I got from a local shop to me, if I want to burn some sage or Palo Santo, these are they, um, kind of little cards my mum's written me, I've got my pencils there, I should actually probably paint soon, I keep saying I'm going to and I haven't, um, and then that's a print that my friend took when we were in Morocco together. This is another one of my prints um, from Australia, which always reminds me of there. This is a print my sister gave me, and then I didn't know who the artist was, and then through me posting it on Instagram, my friend knew the artist, and then she was my neighbor. <laughs> like, what? Um, so I love having that there too. Um, and her name is Emily Catton Thick. She does wonderful um, nudes as well. As you can tell, there's a theme here. Surprise, surprise with me. And then in my bedroom, I have my mum's painting, which is my mum's, my favorite painting of my mum's. So I can just see it on our wall when I was younger and I love it. And it's just kind of like dripping um, watercolor, which I love when it's above my bed. And then I often get asked about this one because obviously it's in lots of photos um, and it's the amazing um, Frances Glory Costello and I'm a huge, huge fan of her work. Um, and then I think we also realized we had a mutual friend and she also liked my work. So she kindly sent me a print and I sent her Palm Springs one. So everything around me, it's like, I love having these cause they all have such like nice stories and they just like make me feel more um, kind of artsy and awake in that kind of creative sense of mind. So I'm using this Biosense Squalane oil, which is an oil that I absolutely love for my face, but this one's kind of big enough to use on your body as well. I'm um, just like, it's got enough product. Um, so I'm loving this because it's super hydrating for the day, but it doesn't feel like super heavy um, on the skin, which is what I hate um, if you're using an oil in the day. Um, whereas this one just kind of soaks straight in. <laughs> um, I'm still living in this Paloma wool kind of ribbed knit duo thing because it's just so comfortable. Um, so I thought I'd do like a kind of book chat. I don't want to spend ages doing it because I know it can be so long because I've got so many bloody books here. But I thought it'd be fun to share and I get asked sometimes to share. Um, I love reading. If I like really put my heart into it, I can read pretty quickly. Like I've read one book this week, which I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. Um, and there's just ones that I love and there's ones that help me. Like I'm very much, I, I can read a fiction book and a non-fiction book at the same time, or like quite a few. I kind of like dipping in and out of them. Like I would like say like a TV series. My sister doesn't understand me at all. She's like, I don't get it. But for me, it's like, you know, when you're watching four series, it's not like you're going to forget the plot. No, I just feel like that. And I love reading a non-fiction all the time. Um, mainly because I find they really help me like, I mean, depending on the ones, they can help me very much mentally. Like this book, Eckhart Tolle, The Power of Now, like actually saved my life. Like I was really not okay in my early twenties. And um, yeah, I mean, it literally nearly makes me cry just looking at it. It's all like annotated and everything. Um, it's the classic Eckhart Tolle one. Um, just kind of fitting for now, actually, just making you really realize or re reminding you to be super, present and that actually <clears throat> especially with anxiety lots comes from thinking about the future thinking about the past and actually if you ask the thing i always just remember from this that i always say to myself if i feel stressed is what's the matter right now like in this right now not in five minutes or what might happen tonight or what happened last night or how you felt this morning right now what is the matter and the answer is 99.9 .9 percent of the time nothing you know unless something horrible has just literally happened. But it has and most of that our anxiety zone in our mind and this just really helps you realize it and just this book changed my life um, for the better. And I also recently read um, Eckhart Tolle's new one, which is A New Earth. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, love that one. 
um again it's just it's that same kind of idea and kind of that we have this kind of like pain body within us um it's very much kind of like looking inwards and trying to you know like enlightenment not really but well probably actually i have to say i felt was probably enlightened um but just to kind of um, retrain your mind into how it thinks and what you let stress you out. Um, Eckhart Tolle is incredible. Um, in terms of other non-fiction, um, one of my favourite books is Ways of Seeing John Berger. Um, I did this in, had to read this when I was doing my History of Art degree. Um, and I um, like absolutely loved it. It's just super interesting to make you think about how we see, um, and I think definitely like the eye that I have for photography, um, and visuals definitely, I mean, I studied history of art, my mum's an artist, so it was kind of set probably before I read this, but this is really helpful um, and just really interesting. Um, if I feel a bit uncreative, I love like kind of dipping in and out of books like this because I can just kind of go and be like, oh yeah, that's an interesting way to think about things in the same ilk is um, Why Beauty is Key to Everything by Alan Moore. This is a great do design book. I um, also just love like underlining things in books like this. Um, just because, I mean, I just opened on a page now, I've underlined, we don't think beauty, we feel it, we sense it, we know it. So things like this, when I feel uncreative, which I have been a bit recently, um, really, really help me um, to, well, they help kind of make my mind go. I think the, the thing that's tricky at the moment that's making creativity perhaps harder is because we're essentially living kind of Groundhog, groundhog Day and so normally it's like new experiences, different things, different thoughts, different people that kind of spark your mind. Whereas if you're essentially alone and doing the same thing every damn day, it's really hard to kind of like get that like little fire going. Um, so I love to, you know, I just read a couple pages of that or I kind of go through it. Um, both these books um, are great for that. Um, I love having ones that can just, I've also got the I Weigh Weigh Isms book, again, just like to get my mind going in a different way um, than it might have been. Um, not that I don't love stories to do that, but um, I think a, a story you have to get like more, you have to give it more time and you have to definitely get more involved. Um, the same way that I love, I'm not like a huge poetry girl, but I mean, I'm a total basic bitch and I love Ruby Carr. Um, I think that's how you say her name. Um, the Sun and Her Flowers. I mean, just a classic. I also have Milk and Honey over there. But again, if I feel like I don't know what to do, I want to read, but I don't really want to read. Um, I just love like reading one or two poems. Her poems are fucking beautiful. Like, they really are. I know it's such a cliche, but they're just... Uh, yeah, if you've never... I mean, you can just go check out her Instagram and you'll see. It's just so nice to have the book as well. Um, they're just also gorgeous and heartfelt and she's got kind of amazing kind of little um, sketches in here too um, that go with them um, and I just like having that to pick up again maybe if I'm having a cup of tea or something like that I just want to like get my mind <clears throat> thinking um, and then another book and um, I'll get onto fiction in a second but this other non-fiction is um, The Untethered Soul this is by Michael A. Singer um, I got told to read this by Sinead, oh my gosh, uh, Sinead Dehora, um, who is this amazing um, healer. Um, I love all that kind of stuff, by the way, if you're not getting that by now. Um, and she was like, so basically I'm, she said I'm an empath and so I struggle quite a lot with like taking on other people's problems. So you, I don't know if you're the same, but if you, um, if someone tells me like an issue they have, like I, I'll, try and help them fix it in that moment, like suggest things, but I will think about it for maybe like the next week and think of ways that I can help them or things that might help that I should tell them about. Like I can't just be like, oh, okay, bummer for you. Um, not that anyone is like that, but empaths really like hold it in their body, um, which can be super, um, not distressing, but you feel very heavy with lots of not just your own shit basically um, and that can be very um, tricky um, anyway so she told me to read this um, and it does touch on that but also the kind of idea of the ego and the mind um, again helping be very um, present and that kind of I think in, in this book they call it the voice in your mind um, the like annoying housemate or something that's like always there and if you know you saw yourself talking to yourself Sorry, if someone else was talking to you in that same way, you'd be like, they're a dig. Um, 
but you still listen to the voice in your head even though it's like let you down so many times before you still believe it um and just the idea of just like we narrate everything that we that we look at you know like i'll look at this book and in my head i might be like oh that's a nice blue or like you just you see everything that you say in your head but you don't actually need to say anything in your head your eyes can do that for you yet we narrate we walk down the road and we're like oh look at that sign it says that oh that person's wearing a green hat and like all of this and it just like our mind is constantly going it's like hanging out with someone that's like constantly talking to you and you just need to be like shut up sometimes <laughs> so <laughs> great review emma uh, so that is that one um pretty sure these are all available on on booksellers I'll, I'll link them below if i can but if not the names are pretty easy to google okay so then on to fiction so i the most i finished this book yesterday which was lullaby which i did like um it was like super recommended but i just it's it was really easy to read it, so which was quite nice I quite like an easy read um but it just had one of those endings which was basically the ending happens at the beginning so you're like okay well something else must happen to get to the end of the book before you know the ending but basically it didn't but it was still a nice read so that was okay um <laughs> the one I read before that was The Mars Room um I think I spoke about this in my last vlog um I really loved it because I actually did really get into it it was really hard after Where the Crawdads Sing um, I don't have Where the Crawdads Sing here, um, but it is, that was maybe one of the best books I've ever read, so read that, it's so beautiful, um, just amazing. Um, this was good, it was, it's kind of like about a girl going to prison and it's just really very interesting um, read and a bit different to what I would normally read, um, so yeah, love that. Another favourite that I've read recently was Expectation by Anna Hope. Um, the weirdest thing about this, I literally read the first two pages and I was like, this is super creepy because it's my life. Like, they're 29, they live exactly where I live, like, exactly where I live in London, and it's like describing what they do on the weekends. And I was like, I read this early in the end and I was like, this is kind of weird, like, this is what I do. Um, but essentially, it kind of like jumps um, time frames um, or like eras, I guess. And it's these three friends and kind of how they go through um, their lives and like what they expected they'd be doing and some ending up getting what they expected but it's different, some getting not what they expected but it's the same or different. It's just really interesting and lovely about I guess kind of um, female friendship as well. Um, so I really love that one, um, really good read. Um, I've got just one Sally Rooney, I've got my Conversations with Friends up on my shelf um, over there. This was the second one I read. I think this came out after. That's why um, I think this was 2018 this came out. Um, yeah, Sally Rooney, normal people. This is, it's just, Sally Rooney just writes so well about relationships and people, but without it being like super kind of long and, you know, too, almost too poetic. She's just poetic. She just says it very kind of matter-of-factly, and I love that. And I think this one has been made into a series as is which i need to watch actually now little fires everywhere which i think reese with well i know reese witherspoon has done um this is also just an amazing um read i just really really enjoyed this um i love getting really sucked into something i remember reading this when i when it came out and i was just so you know when you have those weekends where like you literally like all you want to do is read a book like you don't even want to watch tv or like do anything else i had that with this um, and definitely my Sally Rooney's as well. So, um, yeah, that was a really good one. Again, kind of about relationships um, and class and race, um, but kind of all intertwined into this, like, incredible story. So love that one. Um, and I'm about to start this book, and I love the name, and I love the cover, and I know I never judge a book by its cover, but I always judge books by their cover, so I don't know why everyone says that. <laughs> it's called um, On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous, which is this one. Um, so literally that I, I finished Lullaby yesterday, so I'm, I'm going to start this tonight, I guess. Um, and it's about a, a letter from a son to a mother who cannot read, um, written when the speaker is in his late 20s. Um, and it's, I guess, I think it's um, in Vietnam. Um, and it's just, I'm excited. I've heard it massively recommended and just the look of it doing the, the the thing you shouldn't be doing but um <laughs> judging it by a i feel like i'm gonna love it so i'm really excited to love that um so yeah i thought i'd just take you through those 
um, in case you have more time on your hands like me to read. Um, I definitely love watching series as well. I'm currently watching the current Drag Race, love Drag Race. Um, I, do you know, I actually love like really, really tacky TV, which may surprise you. There is currently a new series, Keeping Up With Kardashians and Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And they're bloody amazing. Um, <laughs> I don't, I, they're coming out weekly, which is quite good, so I can't just binge them. I don't know why I love those kinds of shows. Um, I love all kinds of shows, to be honest. Like, obviously I watch Tiger King, I'm only human, but like, the kind of reality TV ones, like, really, really fascinate me, especially those, like, super American ones. I just get so, like, I'm so intrigued by the whole, and I just always think about like the, how they must be filming it as well. I don't know, I just think it's it's very um, fascinating. And even people that like claim to hate them, like I used to live with a couple and the, <laughs> the guy would come home sometimes and I'd be watching Kardashians. He'd be like, Emma, why are you watching this? It's such shit, they're all such idiots. And I was like, I know, but it's really addictive to watch. And he would be like, oh, whatever. But then he would sit down next to me and, enjoy kind of bitching about them the whole way through and I feel like it's really interesting how like even if you don't like those people or like don't get those people it's still really watchable um but yeah so that that's kind of when I want to like just really relax and kind of not really think about anything I love watching those kinds of series so yeah I hope that was um interesting and fun um to take you through my books and series I guess um yeah let me know what you guys have read in the comments below. Very into my bronze goddess again at this time of year. This literally smells like summer always. It's a beautiful collection that um, Estee Lauder do every year. Um, so I'm wearing this at the moment because it smells, like I said, literally like kind of SPF summer beachy fruit cocktail-y. I don't know. It's kind of sweet, but not in a sickly way. Um, and I just love it. So yeah. Just heading out for a <laughs> walk, looking like I'm on holiday. Um, it's kind of warm at the moment, so I just want to get my legs out basically. So wearing some of these bike shorts from Land of the Stories, just a big baggy salt surf tee. And this is my um, lack of color bucket hat, which I love, which is protecting my face, of course. Number one, obviously I've got SPF on, but um, just love um, protecting my face too, um, so that there's no damage. Um, and just got a note because my, I think my neighbors are ill. So I'm just gonna put a note through their door to say if they need me to, to get them anything. Um, oh my gosh, what was bloody recycling? <sighs> so I had been doing the exact same walk um, through the park for like quite a few weeks and I got really bored of it. So I decided to just like walk around roads instead of just being in the park because it's still lovely and green at the moment. Um, and it's been really fun because it's like rows really near to me that I didn't even know, like I just never walked down them. Um, and it's really nice. I kind of feel like I'm somewhere new when I go down a different road, which has been really lovely to like make me feel, well, like I said, kind of not living the exact same day over and over. Um, but also, um, helps me feel a bit more creative when I get back because it feels like I'm doing something a bit different. Walking new places, I guess, especially at the moment, I'm definitely stopping because the blossom was so beautiful and now, like, everything's really green and sunny and lovely and spring-like. Um, but it makes me feel kind of quite like a childish wonder almost. Um, I guess you kind of lose normally, so I'm hoping that at least all of this, I won't take everything for granted so much and um, just feel a lot more present and like, why have I never walked around all these roads, you know? like. They're so, like, so beautiful. Um, but I just stay in my kind of normal area because normally I don't need to spend the time doing that. Um, and it's really nice in terms of creativity too, which I've been talking about a bit in this vlog. Like, I feel like it's different or like, oh my gosh, that's so crazy. That's right by my house, but I never knew that. Um, and now I do. Um, I feel much more awake and ready to create okay so maybe this looks super boring but i love that there's this really nice gray wall here like cement gray um which i had never noticed and that i would love to come and shoot at once i can um and there's loads of like really pretty wisteria at the moment too the purple one on the houses it's just gorgeous 
such beautiful facades and wisteria. <laughs> this just fascinates me and always makes me really happy. The light through the trees too. Now that is some wisteria. It smells incredible too. It's so beautiful. I want to be. Definitely keeps me happy and creative knowing that like my prints are going everywhere. Just makes me really happy to like the idea that these will be on people's walls and stuff. Um, like my work definitely in terms of creativity wise that keeps me um, going for sure. Um, so I thought I'd just chat a bit more about creativity because I think that's definitely the thing um, that ooh, as I said I kind of struggle the most with. Um, I've been shooting still on my film camera as in my um, analog camera um, which I think for me is something that I've like really gotten into the past year or so and makes me feel like I'm really doing not something more creative but like it's like really fun for me to shoot I get really excited when I drop it off to get developed um, so having that kind of taken away um, has been quite hard because obviously I can't go and get stuff developed um, and there's nowhere in my house that I can develop it myself um, which would be quite tricky to create a black room as well a dark room um, and so I'm trying to get back into doing like digital, but I've kind of, I kind of went off it. I think when I just prefer the look of film now, um, and the fun and kind of unknown of it, um, just kind of funny to, I like that, um, that uncertainty, but I kind of struggle with the uncertainty of this kind of time in our lives. Um, so I'm just trying to, I have like very up and down energy. I think I might've mentioned that before. I like, some days I just. I'm so aggravated by my lack of like creativity and energy and like want to do anything I just feel a bit useless and then other days like today I feel very I just you know I started my day right I kind of wrote stuff down when I woke up I, I did some pilates I had my shower and my coffee just how I wanted to um so I think I mean I don't think that's why all those things I say I feel great but it certainly helps me feel great um and I just have to accept that people are up and down. Um, I am up and down. Um, I'm sure we all are. Um, but I mean, I, I think I am anyway, in this kind of time or not. Um, but it's really frustrating for me to like, not be able to create. It's the most frustrating thing. But then today I feel very happy and I want to create and that's why I'm vlogging and I've shot some stuff and I love it. And I'm just like, but it's because I haven't put any pressure on myself to do it. Um, and I think I've kind of mentioned that before, which is just always the, the biggest hindrance in terms of um, getting in the mood, <laughs> I guess, in the mood to create. So this is, this is kind of my afternoon routine at the moment. <laughs> it's very chic. It's my delicious banana and chocolate cake, a cup of tea, lapsang souchong, in bed, watching none other than the wonderful RuPaul. Um, I, it makes me feel, and I say afternoon, it's like 5 p.m. So it's it's like kind of my end of day thing. I just like to chill out and kind of kick back. How fun is my little slither of light that I get when I'm sat on my sofa. Um, I just filmed my makeup, which I'm going to put on IGTV, um, which I will link below. Um, just kind of like a glowy, bronzy, freckly, obsessive freckles. I said this in my last vlog, but they just totally cheer me up. Um, and I'm wearing this kind of acid orange jumper, which is my favourite one from Suzanne, but they've done a new kind of colour range of it. My other one was brown, so this is a bit more bright. Um, which I love um, and yeah I'm gonna kind of sign off there I hope that was fun I kind of did it all in one day today which was different um, to my other vlogs but I feel like then I get more into kind of turning them over so hopefully I can do more and again please 
do leave any comments for anything that you would like to see and again please subscribe it makes such a difference um to me if you do and i totally appreciate you all watching um because this is just new and kind of fun so um see you in the next one